Good morning, everyone. We are continuing here in the Kitzur Shulchan Aruch, and we're holding over here by the laws of a Tisha B'Av that falls out on Moitzi Shabbos on Saturday night, which is what we have this year, which is why we're going through these halachas. And the Gemara says like this, There are many things that we do not say on the night of Tisha B'Av, even though that on a normal Moitzi Shabbos Saturday night we would say that. And therefore, the, the uh, kids is going to explain those things. If you have, for example, an art school kinois that you use in order to be able to daven, you'll see all the details in there. It's worthwhile to have one because you'll know all the details. You'll be able to also read the kinois in English. It'll be very helpful for you. So, some people have the custom of saying a special prayer before Marev on Saturday night. You don't say that on Tisha B'Av. And there's also a passage that you don't say before you'll look into your city, you'll see what that is. Because that, that verse was composed to commemorate the building of the Mishkan. And we're talking about and now it's destroyed. There's another special prayer that many people say after davening is over. We don't say that. So to some people apparently have the custom to bless their children after Shabbos is over. We don't do that either on such a Tisha B'av that falls out after Shabbos. Now says the Gemara, what about Havda, says the Kisar, what about Havdalah Mishetech Shach? After dark, Keshu when you see the fire, you see the flame of the candle, Mavarach Boirei Mo'arei Ha'esh. You make the brach of Boirei Mo'arei Ha'esh like we do by a regular Havdalah. Ubishman Esrei Omrim Atachanan Tanu. And in Shmon Esrei, we also say Atachinantanu, which is the special prayer of Havdalah. Aval ein Mavdin Lalakais. However, since we don't eat and drink on Tisha B'av, you cannot make Havdalah on a Kais, on a cup of grape juice or wine. I might say Tisha B'av until Tisha B'av is over, which would be meaning Sunday night. The Az, who Mavdil al then you make Havdalah on a Kais. Aval einu Mavarech Lalabasamim. However, at that point, on Sunday night, you don't use besamim the spices, the al v'loy al aner, nor do you use the flame because you already did that. I feel a lot berach alav moitzi shabbos. Even if you forgot to make a brach on the candle on moitzi shabbos Saturday night, you should still not make a brach on the candle Sunday night because Saturday night is the day that fire was created, and therefore it's that brach is only earmarked for Saturday night. Um, you should also caution your your household. They should not do any malach, any prohibited actions of Shabbos until they say that Hashem separates between the holy and the profane. Of course, you do it without saying Hashem's name. If a person forgot to say which has in it the words Hamadim Mikodesh Lechoyel ain't Sarechlach. So you don't have to go back and repeat the Shemun Esrei. Ela Gayret Filosa. Rather, you should finish the prayer. Shari Yavdil B'Motzi Tisha B'Av Ala Kais. Because when you are going to make Havdala on Motzi Tisha B'Av Sunday night on the cup of wine, Vela Yitaim Kaidem, and you're not going to taste anything before that. Ve'im Sarechlach Sais Malach. If you have to do any work or any action. You have to make sure that you are saying without Hashem's name. Which means all that he's writing over here is, is that if you forgot to say on Saturday night in your Shemon Esrei, which has in it the declaration of so don't do any malacha, don't do anything until you actually say those words after the Shemon Esrei is over. And you will not make a full Havdalah until it's going to be Sunday night. Have a wonderful day. We should be Zaychem Yetz Hashem that this Saturday night not to have to sit on the floor, but rather to be Zaycha, to be sitting in the great Beis Hamikdash Shlishi Bimheira Amenu.